Good morning, St. Thomas More. Welcome back. So excited to see all of our beautiful students and staff. Hope you had a restful summer. Hey, listen, it's a real stressful time up there in guidance, not only for the counselors, but obviously for you, the students who are trying to make many, many a changes to your timetable. So we're gonna open up this, this um, announcement with some fun, and then I'm gonna get serious. So we're gonna do some myth busters about timetable change excuses. Are you ready, St. Thomas More? First one. This course, miss, it comes easier to me in the morning. Boom. It doesn't come easier to you in the morning. You want to be in a class with your buddies. You want a different teacher. We're busting that myth. You get what you get and you don't get upset. All right, next myth. Second lunch, I know it sucks. Some of us teachers even have it. But to give us the excuse that you can't eat that early, you can. <laughs> Busted. You don't have to eat lunch at 9.30. You can have a snack. You can eat lunch just before 11. In fact, you could eat some of your lunch in between classes. You're gonna be all right with second period lunch. Third, I love this one. You would not believe how often we get this one. I work, so I have to end my day a little bit earlier. Um, you go to school, so tell work that you, your day starts a little bit later. <laughs> school first. Here's another one. My physio appointments are booked for 11 o'clock. I can only have third lunch. Mm. Call physio, change your appointments. Boom. There we go. Miss, I need this course for university and I need it in this period. That's what the university told me. It has to be SEM 1, period 2. No, it doesn't. In fact, grade 12s and 12 pluses who are applying to college and university understand that both semesters come into play in your application. It does not matter when your course runs, as long as that course is on your timetable, SEM 1 or SEM 2. Are we getting the drift, St. Thomas More? We have almost a hundred years worth of experience running that guidance department between all of us old fogies. We've heard it all. You need to understand that there are students who do not have the courses they need. There are students who don't even have a timetable yet. Those are the important ones that we must take care of right now. The louder you scream, the more we shut you off. You need to show patience. You need to help your family understand that we are working extremely hard up there to accommodate, and we do prioritize those students who actually are missing courses. Accommodating what looks like a perfect schedule for you could maybe have happened back in June when you first got your timetable. But sending the army in to fight your battle because something doesn't look perfect is not something we actually have enough time for. So, like I tell my seven and nine-year-old, in most circumstances, not all, but in most circumstances, you get what you get. And everybody, you don't yes. get upset. So, for today's lesson, the myths are busted. Last piece of advice, walk around with a smile on your face, enjoy the courses that you are given, help your parents understand that life is not perfect, we're not perfect, but we're all in it together, 
Appointments are closed until Friday. Friday it opens up again. Make one appointment and only if it is for semester one or if you are missing actual courses. St. Thomas More, even when I give my children heck, I make sure that they understand that they are loved and you are loved. Have a great day. Myths busted. <laughs> Good morning, STM. I'm Kiata. And I'm Fia. And we're the senior and ju junior directors from this year's Halloween for Hunger executive team. If you're new to STM, Halloween for Hunger, or H4H for, for short, is our annual food drive that collects tens of thousands of pounds of food for those in need on the Hamilton Mountain on Halloween night. And unfortunately, the need has never been greater than it is now. Planning for our 24th annual campaign is already underway, and we're looking for all the help we can get. Are you an artist that enjoys painting and maybe even graphic design to make posters? Are you a people person whose communication skills are off the charts and can help us reach out to businesses for sponsorships? Or do you want to help organize the logistics of covering 27,000 homes with 1,000 volunteers? If any of these interest you, the H4H &H Planning Committee is for you. If you're interested, there will be an information and sign-up meeting this Thursday after school in the library. No prior experience is needed and students from all grades are encouraged to come help us make a huge difference in our community. This is an amazing cause and being on the planning committee is a great opportunity to earn extra Christian service hours. Please follow us on both Instagram and Twitter at STM underscore h for h for more information and updates. Thanks STM! Hey STM, I'm Caitlin, your cheer captain. And I'm Sophia, your cheer co-captain for the 2023 to 2024 cheer season. We are so excited for the upcoming season filled with football games, basketball games, competitions with intention to bring back our first place banners, and of course, our annual Christmas assembly with the senior football team. Tryouts are this week, tomorrow and Friday, right after school. All are welcome, females, males, and absolutely no experience is necessary. If you're interested in trying out, please sign up and pick up a form outside of room 352. If you have any questions, you can see Miss Ryan in room 352. We're looking forward to see you there. Good morning, STM. I'm Kiara. And I'm Michele. And, and here are your announcements for, for today. today. Attention grade 9 girls. Do you want to play basketball this year? If so, please come to a brief informational meeting after school in room 153, which is the new wing of the school. There will be a junior boys volleyball meeting for all those interested today, immediately after school in room 241. The first tryout will be Thursday at 245. Thank you from Mr. Stampone and Ms. Licatolosi. This is a message for all students who are interested in volunteering for this year's breakfast club. Please come to, Monday, to Monday's meeting directly after school in Portable 6. If you cannot make the meeting but are still interested in participating, please speak with Ms. Bertles or Ms. Batucci. Any students interested in getting paid to score keep basketball games, volleyball games, and work stick crew for football games must attend a meeting on Thursday, September 7th at 2.45 p.m. in room 241. Anyone interested in trying out for the boys' baseball team is to attend a meeting tomorrow right after school in the lecture hall. Attention all grade 9 and 10 girls. Junior girls basketball tryouts will start today at 4.15 p.m. in the main gym. Sign-up sheet is outside the phys ed office. Please bring a signed permission form, which can be found in the main office or on the school website. A reminder to all senior boys interested in trying out for the senior boys volleyball team. The first tryout will be today right after school in the gym. Dear staff and students, we are resuming our Wednesday rosary prayer. So today you are cordially, in cordially invited to our chapel after school to pray for a good school year. See you at 2.45. Thanks, STM. Listen up, Grade Nines. I'm Adriana. And I'm Marcus, and we were last year's Grade Nine Student Council reps. We are here to encourage you all to put your names forward as a candidate for this year's Student Council. There are two positions on Council available for Grade Nine students, a male and female representative. Being on Student Council is an awesome way to get involved and meet new people. If you're interested in running for Grade Nine rep, rep election forms will be available September 11th in the main office. Grade Nine Student Council elections will take place on Friday, September 15th. If you would like any more information about the elections, feel free to talk to either of us or anyone on the Student Council. In other Grade 9 news, mark your calendars. The Grade 9 dance will be held Thursday, September 14th in our school's cafeteria, 7 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Tickets will be $5 and will be sold on School Cash Online in the next few days. Can't yeah. wait to see you there. And don't forget, Knights, make sure to follow us on our Instagram, at STM underscore Council, for all our latest updates about fun school activities. 
STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.25, and remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to, to be a night.